Hello to you. My name is Tony Andrews and I'm going to be bringing us today's reflection. Um, today we'll be looking at a short piece of text from Genesis. So we're looking at Genesis 22 verses 13 and 14. Um, yes, it is a very short reading, but uh, it is really, really rich in meaning. So I hope that uh, you enjoy this reflection and uh, take time uh, in pondering over uh, the words from this reading. So the reading is taken from the NIV Bible and it goes as follows. Abraham looked up and there in the thicket he saw a ram caught by, his, by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place the Lord will provide. And to this day it is said, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. So, as I said, it's quite a short piece of uh, passage, piece of scripture, but uh, the one question that comes to my mind immediately is, um, why was Isaac, the only son of Abraham, going to be sacrificed? And in order to find this out, we need to delve uh, a little bit deeper into this, uh, into this piece of scripture. We find at the beginning of uh, 22, chapter 22, uh, that God has called Abraham uh, as he has a very large and important job for Abraham to do. We, of course, from our privileged position, uh, position from scripture, we know what God wants uh, Abraham to do, and that is to become the father of the Jewish nation. Um, but at this particular time, it's not something that Abraham knew anything about. At the beginning of the chapter, uh, God, we can see that God has decided that he's going to test Abraham. Uh, it's a test not to trip him up and to see him fall, um, but to gauge the strength of the love um, that he has for the Lord and Abraham's capacity to obey God's instructions. God told Abraham to take his one and only son uh, to the region of Moriah and to sacrifice him as a burnt offering to one of the mountains. Abraham did as he was asked. He went there on a donkey and was literally about to sacrifice his son when God said to him, Do not lay a hand on that boy. It was then that Abraham saw the ram caught by the horns in the thicket, and the ram was sacrificed instead. As you can see from the beginning of our reading. Abraham's um, one and only son, was down to be sacrificed, but this sacrifice was substituted by a ram. Well, there is another huge life-changing event for us all that takes place in the Bible, which is similar to this. But on that occasion, on this occasion, the only son could not be saved. God sent his only son, Jesus, to walk on the earth here to experience the life that we all have. Jesus was sacrificed on the cross to atone for the sins of all mankind. Abraham went on to father a nation. Jesus died so that you and I, who are fallen people, have the hope of a life in the kingdom of God. Through Jesus' death, by the grace of God, not by anything that we've done, by God's grace. Abraham named the place, the Lord will provide. We can say, the Lord has provided. And we need to be eternally grateful for his provision for us all. 
We all lead really, really busy lives. And it is all too easy to forget that supreme sacrifice that God made for us all as we go about our busy lives in this world. So as we share this reflection, let us just take a moment in silence to ponder on the demonstration of the complete and absolute unconditional love that God has for us all. Then I will end in prayer. So, Father, as we remember the sacrifice that you have made when you sacrificed your Son, Jesus, your beloved, for us all, we just pray, Lord, that uh, in our busy, busy lives that we will, every now and then, as we have with this reflection just now, just spend time with you giving thanks for the, the love, the hope and the peace that you have given to us. The provision of that peace that you have given to us through the death of your Son. And may we be eternally grateful for the sacrifice that you have made for us all.